Well, yeah, all right. Hey, for all the list, for all the listeners out there, I'm not in the middle of Beirut. This is Southampton. Okay, why? If there's any like background noise or anything, I'm not in Beirut. Oh I'm man, in, I'm not in Syria. <laughs> well, <in> Southampton. <laughs> you know, it's it's getting hard to tell the difference. I saw your museums are getting driven into, and no, that was just a a car accident. Oh, okay. A car accident. That uh, was. Had, it was just a black guy driving it. It looked Islamic. Misdirected yeah, it, uh, cultural enrichment. Yeah, it's completely misunderstood. They sent absolutely tons of terror squads there. People in uh, chemical uniforms completely shut down the road. Had armed police absolutely everywhere. And a BBC themselves. A BBC of all fucking people. They interview, like You have to read to put things right at the bottom. They interviewed this fucking witness, and bearing in mind they picked a witness, he said he heard gunshots. And they just said, yeah, it's just a traffic accident, just a genuine accident. It's not a trend or anything. No, no, not at all. Um, and then a few out and but that was true. we had a big Islamic protest actually just down the road. Paul, you know what just you know what just little light bulb went off over my head? Uh, let me try and guess it. Let me try and guess it. Well, for well, I'll, let, I'll set it up. For a while, I had assumed that the way they were going to mandate driverless cars was through insurance, kind of like Obamacare. Like they would make it so. The insurance is so cheap for driverless cars that it basically becomes unaffordable to drive a car. But what if they just keep letting these driving attacks go and th then they're eventually like, we have to mandate driverless cars to prevent Islamic terrorist attacks. They can't call it Islamic terror attacks. I'd be racist. How dare you, James? Well, you, you know what How I meant. How to stop just... Car accidents. That car accidents. In London near Islamic protests and, and there was no gunshots. And the armed police, they always turn up to like just a car crash. Yeah. Just a little car crash. It's pretty normal to send the terror police there. It's not a not. Yeah. Normal. It's not strange. And then someone like a couple of hours later fucking jumped over the Queen's fence. You know, the Queen's got that massive fence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone jumped over that. And then uh, we had two massive evacuations outside train stations in central London. So that's, that was Saturday afternoon in London. Yeah, right. Man. Well, you know, here... It's about like Las Vegas, right? It's just like a night out in Las Vegas, right? Really. Well, I was going to say, about an hour, hour and a half away from me, we had a foiled... Uh, terror attack in new york city which isn't getting much publicity and yeah it's... because they found the same bombs as what that fucking nut in las vegas had. and that and it's also involving guys in the philippines and this is all now news that you know you, you hear trump saying oh we're winning in syria we're winning in here but i guess now the philippines is an isis stronghold and that's them expanding that's into been, asia what, I mentioned, yeah i mentioned that in your show before the philippines yeah I, I was unaware of that India too, I guess, is also. I'm not sure. I think pretty I divided. I don't know much about it. I think it's because it had the civil war going on, pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty easy to take it over. Well, I'm just saying, you know, like the there's yeah, apparently ISIS are back. Yeah. Oh, what are you saying? No, after you, I was gonna say some shit. Oh, I was just gonna say like. I, I don't mean that they're, like, running India or anything like that. I just know there are areas, you know, like, kind of like Chechnya in Russia. Like, you have these ghetto communities that are, like, hotbeds for Islamic terror in these other places. Well, yeah, like, because, yeah, because if you're in a fucking shanty town, someone goes to you, right, I'll give you $20,000 to become an absolute jihadist. It's going to be hard to turn down, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, like, I looked into... you got, like, a big family... I looked into the Russian thing because, you know, with all the Russia, Russia, everyone was like, yeah, Russian, Russia oppresses gay people. So I was like, do they? Let me let me look into this. And I looked it up and I'm like, no, it's the Muslim controlled areas of Russia 
that do that. And I, I read about one guy who was attacked, and people, of course, are trying to say that Putin's doing this. And it's like, no, the person who was attacked in Chechnya moved to Moscow. He moved closer to Putin out of the Islamic area into the Russian capital. Like, it's not Russia that's doing this. It's Muslims in Russia. So it's, it's I mean, I've seen all sorts of craziness out of the Middle East and all... all it's and now it's infected Europe. Like he's oh man, I hear the sirens. Uh, it's just stuff blowing up outside, basically. Oh sirens my! Everywhere. Can you not hear the stuff blowing up? The bang. The I did. I didn't hear the bang, but man. Yeah, you no, know, you can't hear that. No, I'll have to listen back to it. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, sirens all the time on this road. It's just a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, I fucking, I, it looks like I'm not getting a Christmas bonus this year then. Oh, yeah, and you know, let's, I want to talk about this, because I think this, this to me, and I don't know if it's just me taking it personal, but you know, YouTube has hit us with these waves before, because I can see all the analytics, so I know, I knew when, when I was on a steady incline with the election, then they started putting in, you know, restrictions that make it so you don't see certain recommended videos, we took a hit there, then, you know, they have did other stuff, little de demonetization things, but now it's just the whole swath. You even had, I saw Philip DeFranco, who's a top YouTuber, you know, kind of centrist. He was even showing that Casey Neistat, that douchebaggy YouTuber that was shilling for Hillary, he had a video asking for uh showing support for like one of these charities out of las vegas you know support the families support the victims they flag that i mean this is a wide yeah, spread we need a direction like we should do like a pottery channel or something this is this is so Just widespread on a sunday i'll get on live camera well what it what it is though a clay pot is it's basically them trying to suck all of the oh, money out of all on. No, hang on. I've got to paint my kitchen next Sunday. We could just do that. I suppose just do a we podcast could. Podcast, maybe just paint in the kitchen. That won't get demonetized. Just, but. just switch the whole format. It probably won't. And you know what else? Yeah, just we're going the wrong way, mate. That's what people want. I, I'll do a bit of pottery. Or you know, I'm, I bet if we were Antifa, we wouldn't be demonetized. Yeah, let's do it. I, Let's do it. I wonder, I wonder if Antifa, or the Young Turks, I wonder if, because, I mean, they talk about all the same topics we right. talk about. Right. They just, yeah. they just Thank go to a different conclusion. So, I want, I, that's what I think's really going on here. I bet you it didn't hit the Young Turks. I haven't heard from the Young Turks since the Alex Jones fight. I honestly haven't heard from them. Well, Never. it actually just came out this week <laughs> about them. Alex Jones destroyed them. Them, Absolutely. yeah, like yeah. The final nail in the coffin. Yeah. That's why. How can you not love Alex Jones? Well, That's them, the and then, and then if you. You don't like Alex Jones. Watch the Alex Jones sank fight, and then tell me you don't love Alex Jones. Well, and then you had Steven Crowder do a couple victory laps over Chenk's oh, dead body. Best. So it's yeah, they. Yeah. <laughs> so they're 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 a rap, but you know they. If you do see some of their stuff, like they brought in that uh, white black guy or black Get white guy. Get the fuck off the stage, you fat bastard! <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin. They brought in Sean King. Um, they also no. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah. They brought him on the cast, no. and it's like, all right, after Alex Jones and Crowder no. just demolished no. you, that's your your move. But they they're. I'll be it came out this week though that they're getting money tied into like the Podestas and all of that stuff. Like they've now linked them into that whole network of alternative media being paid to shill and everything like that. So that's what I was thinking about the Vegas in a way because um, that's what I'm saying. I think that's the best way to describe it. Is now this has happened, a lot of this information that's coming out is just like a psyop on the alternative media, on the mainstream yeah. media, and it's getting everyone fucking fighting. We're being played like a fiddle here. Well, that's, you know, that I think We're was... We're getting played like an absolute fiddle. I've been played like a fiddle. You've been played like a fiddle. Well, that's, you know, I think that was kind of my takeaway of, of that video I did, talking about the, 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 what did I call it, the disinfo psyop or something, where it's just, there's so much information out there that it's just meant for the sake of confusing everyone and getting people fighting amongst yeah. themselves, rather than now. saying, you know, 
this is okay it could be your way it could be my way but we got 90 percent of this that we agree on let's just focus on that then like yeah it's and even like you got, I, you got even, alex jones demanding it was nice this gun sting gone wrong you got steve pachanik saying it's all crisis actors no one died all green screen i did you see got, robert uh, david Steele say that it's a mix of both where he said you had actors brought in and everything but then you had an actual shooting take place on top of that <coughs> which is sort of the well, idea we the had crisis, discussed yeah. Yeah, that's what I think it is, because the media will use crisis actors for the interviews. Yeah. And that's a mixture of useful idiots. And also, they were doing drills the day before, so part of the drill probably... I think I saw an article from, like, a month before, too. Yeah, yeah, and, like, if you if you were doing a drill, why would you not have the media there doing, like, drill after interviews and drill witness statements and how to control the witnesses and stuff like that? So there's going to be a lot of that going on. and I think that's Well, and you know what on. else it could be? The, you know, we have footage from these other surrounding hotels with armed police running through them and all that. Those could have been the drills, and this yeah, whole, yeah, this whole multiple shooter narrative could be being spun by the drills. That's why everyone's sort of like, oh, maybe there was more than one. We saw people running through here. And you like, want the drills to mix with the real shit. It's just... Con 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 <laughs> to make this complete confusion. Yeah. Because that's the whole point. It's, it's Order out of chaos. Yeah, and then the cops are going one way when the real shoot is the other way. Yeah. And, it, and like, the setup for me is the big setup you need to be looking at if I was in the United States of America is I'll be asking United States people, how come he was only shooting for 20 minutes and then it took an hour to get up there? Yeah. Like, it took an hour. Like, that's plenty of time to slip out the door. Come on. It is plenty of times for someone to slip out that door. And anyone that I ask now, like everyone in England believes the official story. And then as soon as I say it, like everyone believes it. I don't know how I can explain it, like in the pub, or down the pub, having a pint. It's like, oh yeah, mental guy, mental guy, oh yeah. Need to bang guns, need to bang guns. And I say, FBI sting gone wrong. And they just go... They planted that body there, didn't they? Well, even like, everyone else yeah. said... It's like, as soon as you said that one sentence, they all just got it. It's like, lights go on. It's like, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Just that one sentence, you know? Yeah. Well, but the, but the other thing, too, is, you know, I, I also heard someone say, and I kind of go with this, too, where I don't even know... I think F FBI gun running sting gone wrong might even be a, a psyop, where it's like... Because you know, I, I think it was both. Yeah, dude. I think it was, yeah, I think it was Robert flag at the same time. I think it was Robert David Steele who said it, where he's like, again, if you understand um, ISIS and everything like that, like, do you really think a whole squad of ISIS is going to walk up into a Vegas casino where everything's recorded, monitored? I mean, it's yeah. the worst place. I think we said this before, where we were like, it's a really bad place to do it. Like, why wouldn't the you do it, place to do it in the middle of Montana? But it turns out now they're at least saying. All the security cameras on that floor were shut off. If I ever had to sell stuff that was like contraband when I was a youth, I used to always do it though in the most public places. Yeah, I mean, it, there's just so much going on. Well, well, like but I said, I could taking it to a different level. Yeah, because that's casino. not that's not a public place. That's a most surveilled <laughs> yeah, place. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the public place might have been like in the midst of the concert, like with all the equipment yeah, exactly. and Somewhere gear. There's just thousands of people everywhere. Giant, there's giant there's cases of guitars yeah, being yeah. loaded onto yeah. trucks, and you know that would make sense. I used to do that as a kid, like to get backstage concerts and stuff. Just take a guitar case. Yeah, yeah. To a gig and just like walk in. That's how I would. I would no get, one fucking ever asked. I would get friends into stuff. gigs with that. You yeah. know, if they didn't have money to get in, I'd be like, just carry in my instrument and my amp with me, and you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. And like back in the day, when printers were like quite a new thing, like color ones that were decent, just making your own backstage pass at home. Yeah. And that used to actually work back in the day. I I made my own press pass for the. the yeah, the, that's what I was talking about. Not backstage pass. Yeah, like press pass. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit always works. I and but it's it's funny, you know, I I don't think it would work in fucking Vegas. Like, you know, that's a yeah. super state uh mega surveillance. I don't know, but, do what Ice do what Ice T said, just uh, act like you know. And he, here's the that's other thing though. Uh, 
that where it's like you know again people are like oh well you know the owner of this hotel invested in with the saudis i mean that's all kind of 9 11 ish and everything but it's like that that no 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 the guy who owns the mgm hotel is in with all the airport security machines yeah x-ray machines and the uh, luggage scanners. And some of those x-ray machines had to be taken out of US airports because of all the complaints. So they're basically just sat in a warehouse doing nothing. And now what's going to happen is these airport security x-rays are going to start off being in Las Vegas. Shit, they rolled that out the very next day. Yeah. The very next day. And it's going to expand and go, oh, look at Las Vegas leading away in keeping everyone's safe. safe yeah yeah let's put them in schools because can't protect, protect our little kiddies. all the stadiums and yeah, yeah you're not even able to just be able to buy a well you know that's it think scale. about it it was a concert at vegas that's two birds with one stone now we need them at the concerts and we need them at the casinos they they doubled up right there yeah and also it's good to i don't know the law but they escaped a massive insurance payout because that shootout happened at the concert, which is probably not their land. If they had been shot up in the hotel, you would have had insurance claims going everywhere. Yeah. I don't know how the law works, but if you get shot up in a Las Vegas hotel, in a terrorist attack, would wow. they get done for lawsuits? I don't know. Wow. But it seems like there's not going to be many lawsuits. Yeah, no. Bodies lying about. It's just going to be, oh, it's unfortunate you happen to be on the front lawn. Wow. I didn't think about so that, but that's that's really smart. That's what well, I'm an evil fuck. That's what. That's it, man. No, Honestly, well, that's you I'm know, that's risk, like because I'm in touch with my evil side. So yeah. Actually. Well, and that's one of the things where where I was saying that video of mine where I said, you know, this idea of crisis actors, like it's so weird because the conclusion you draw from it, the only thing I can think is like, if it were to be true, then it must be a way that they have legally protected themselves so that they can say, oh, well, yeah. we didn't, we didn't kill anyone, well, so we're we're walking away scot free. Very yeah, simple. wasn't even on my property very similar to this yeah we rounded you all up in this little area over here so when something bad happens it's not on us also steve paddock is from las vegas to shoot and happen in las vegas so i don't know your laws but the fbi don't have jurisdiction in this case because i think the fbi do it when it, if he was from like chicago or from new york it's a different state but because he was from the state and committed it in the state i think the fbi have basically stampled on the uh, Las Vegas Police Department and the Las Vegas Police Department probably want to do a proper job. Most of the people in the FBI want to do a proper job, but if you've just got one nasty head in the FBI, it looks like they're just uh, steamrolling the investigation. The only way they could do that is if it was terrorism or some sort of international tie-in. If it was yeah, just, just a... Your you're mind. right. If it was just well, a... they've still got no motive, have they? So. You're like... If, I mean, it's like, like... Let me put it like this. If a gangster in Chicago rolls down the street and shoots up a block and seven people end up dropping, you're right. That would just be Chicago's police business. If a guy from Las Vegas just goes up and starts shooting a whole bunch of people, that should just be Las Vegas police's issue... The fact that it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's not going to be surprising when it comes down to Freedom of Information Act stuff a year from now when we find out there are aspects of this that are classified like Sandy Hook was. And that's, you know, Sandy Hook had the Fed's fingerprints all over it from the start. And when we, I mean, I think you know that I was apocalyptically crossed when you started talking about crisis actors. I, like, react to it really badly. But there was that news article that came out where that fucker was wearing a t-shirt linked to the um, crisis Orlando actor, thing, the Orlando yeah. Pulse. And I'm sorry, I, I don't know if your viewers would be aware, but the Orlando Pulse is like the most biggest joke ever. Yeah. I mean, it really was just the biggest joke with that guy who was with Hillary Clinton all the time. Like, he was in the background, he was in their office. Yeah. While am I laughing? And then he's carried on with, he was still part of the campaign even after the shooting. I mean, that thing was fucking crazy. It's cartoonish. And then, yeah, and it's like, did someone in the media say, hey, can you put this t-shirt on? Or, what the fuck was he doing wearing that t-shirt? Well, it's, it's secrets hidden in plain sight. That's how they, they're communicating to one another with it. That's what it is. It's letting yeah, the people who need FBI to know, like, wink, no. Wink, wink, wink. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a wink, wink. Like, it's for, you know. 
and people figure it out and so what if they do yeah, because it's just if they you do figure it out say you're like me or you what do you think that does to my mentality when i see that it's like you want to give up the fight because you're like yeah. oh it's that in your fucking face yeah you're done for well that's you're what what did i say in my in my video i said them bringing the kids out at the super bowl for the sandy hook kids and having them all sing in front of you that was them fucking laying their dick on your forehead like that was them just being like here it is just if right Send in the right in the face theorist crazy yeah this one. yeah this is gonna blow their brains out and that's that's at this point that's what i think the craigslist postings yeah. are i think by ladies now ladies and gentlemen lee harvey oswald Yay! i i think by now they would have gotten a group of actors like a coalition together and they, you know, not that they're using the same girl at the same event all the time and the shit you see in memes, but I think it's, you know, they're, they, they're not posting ads for random people on Craigslist for the very top, top-notch black ops, psyops run on Americans. Like, it's just not happening. The Craigslist post, that's to get people going in circles. Yeah, you made a good joke going, this should put people off replying to Craigslist ads for crisis actors for a while. Yeah. Like, surely you'd be put off by now. Like, every... <laughs> Why would you reply to advert after Orlando Pulse, Sandy Hook, like in Las Vegas, Batman shit? If you see a Craigslist for crisis actor, fucking do not apply, to my advice. Well, I just, I, I think it's, I, I almost, I, I want to find one and call and almost see who it ends up being and everything like that because I think yeah. some of them yeah, are you, just you wouldn't, placed you wouldn't there. Be extra, I'll do the call for you. Need to find out. Emily, what did be famous? I think. Do you need actors? I think some of them are I fake like ads. It, I'm good. I think some of them are fake ads just to start the infighting with the truth community. I th I I really I don't think they're getting actors from Craigslist. The ads are just there to fuck with people. Yeah. What about the 4chan guy? He posted he posted on 4chan on September 10th at 12:59. The high incident project thing or the which post? High incident. Yeah, and that's quite like a it's quite good timing, mate. He did that post good timing. The yeah. 10th of September at 12:59. One minute to September the 11th. Yeah. yeah. He got it down as a treat. If you read that, it's got that down as a treat. It's like it's going to be this high incident, this, pro, this high profile incident. Keep away. Uh, it's all going to be about airport security, luggage security, all this just been installed into schools. Well, I mean, and it's. And that's all I'm seeing now. Like, even my parents were talking about that. Like, and I'll. The only way to stop this is by getting Americans to go through security all the time. Well, you, have to do it. you know, Alex Jones references at times the sort of vampiric uh, aspect of it. The almost you have to invite it in. The have to, they have to show it to yeah. you before the they do it. Demon. The yeah, yeah basically. Um, again, think about how many times we saw the towers come down in it, the media. It, that's the same rule with hypnosis. Like maybe I, I said I'll teach you hypnosis at some point. We should do that. But the, the only way I could hypnotize Jamie is he has to buy into it. If he doesn't want to buy into it or is not interested in it, I'm going to probably fail at doing it. And yes, you start doing interrogation and using unethical ways of doing it. And that would mean tying Jamie up, beat like that kind of stuff. If you just want to do hypnosis nicely, the whole point is a contract between me and Jamie that he's going to let me rock play this game with him and he's going to go along with it it's an imagination there isn't really anything else going on anything crazy jamie does it's a contract between me and him that that, that he's going to engage in this well it's like you know i think it was last week i talked about how there was a song i was listening to and i kept thinking about how i wanted to bang the singer and she's not my type now not someone i would usually think is attractive and then i started paying closer attention to the lyrics and the phrase right now right now being repeated over and over and the fact that that backwards is want her want her want her and your guard is down when it comes to music so and the, plus the beat in there so it's like the you know like the watch going back and forth or the you know it's it does it very easily can induce hypnosis and with music like yeah, i well, said your guard's the, down the, the easiest way to do it is you want to pace 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 lead 
and throw suggestion. Paste, 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 lead, throw suggestion. And you want to throw stuff at them that, first of all, the brain will not argue with and will not ever question, and then put in something which could be true. So, for example, the one that you'll always know is they'll, they'll go, um, as you're sitting there uh, listening to my voice with your feet on the ground. So there you go. You are sat there. You are listening to my voice. Your feet are on the ground. Then I throw in the, the lead. Oh, you, you'll feel yourself getting more and more relaxed. <coughs> And as you concentrate on your breathing, you know, if, if a firework went off, you'd use that. And as you listen to that firework going off, to the gym and you say, so that's true, and stuff they can relate to, and then throw in something that's uh, suggestible, like you're going to get more and more relaxed. And as your eyes go down, and if your eyes don't go down, I'd just push your head down. Does that make sense? So a lot of it's just, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. And it's not that different. You have to embrace it, if that makes sense. If you try and fight it, it really won't work. Yeah, it's... and that's what you're saying. You have to accept it. You have to want to bring it in. It's the same with a demon or a vampire. It's much better when you let it in. Yeah, and that. I mean, how do you think? I mean, how do you think uh, these mass murderers pick up these women? Yeah, same, they look same really techniques. Really attractive. Yeah, got the suit on. Look really great. And an oh hi, hi madam. Can I help give you a lift home? Oh, you look like such a sweet gentleman. How do you think they get the kids in the back of the ice cream truck? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so what's uh, your what's your take on the whole Vegas thing now? I I don't even know. They fucked shit up, and they're just using it to do everything they want to do. I mean, it's, now I'll tell you what. Now uh, here's I, here's the no 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 because whoever leaked those photos, I read an article today saying they can't explain who leaked those photos. Fuck that. It's an FBI camera. They should be able to track that camera. I thought all cameras had water prints on them and digital IDs. Surely they do. Surely they know which fucker took that photo. And all the guns look like they've been placed there. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, and wasn't there someone else who... There was a... I feel like a hotel worker who came out and said that doesn't match the suite. It looks like pictures from our media room. Yeah, and then it looks like there was somebody else there because they left their phone charged there and left the door. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. And the door swipe looks like it was someone else. And then there's always nonsense how the police took ages to get there because they weren't sure where the shots were far coming from. It's like, give me a break. You don't know where the shots were coming from. Sure, the alarm was going off. The door alarm was apparently going off as well because he left it open. Yeah, it, there's so much. I mean, the... it's like they let the guy out and dumped a body there. That, that I'm 100% on is that whoever shot it up put Stephen's body there. And I haven't checked it out, but a lot of people are going through Stephen Paddock's history and connecting it to a, a convicted paedophile who had his identity changed. Yeah, I, I've seen some stuff about that too. And that actually looks quite convincing, you know, I haven't really checked it out. But he does kind of look, I mean, I was thinking that as soon as I saw him, like, I, I, that was the road I was going to go down. I wonder if he's a kiddie fucker. I mean, you know, it... it... I, I don't know. I still think the thing about the father being this super wanted jailbreaking bank robber is far more interesting than this other bit. Like, I almost almost think that them wanting us to think it's some guy who changed his identity, I think they want that rabbit hole there instead of us looking into the father and this being a family op, basically. Like, I don't, yes, I don't know. Stefan Molyneux was just saying it is just a madman. Really? Yeah. The, I, I, you know, I got, I, I have some issues with Molyneux lately that I don't, I don't know what I think about him anymore. And you know, it's weird. He's I normally, I, he is, he's good in some areas and others he's not. And it's weird because I normally don't agree with much of, uh, what's his name? Sam Harris says, but I was listening to Sam Harris talk about, uh, Stefan Molyneux and Douglas Murray talking to him. And he was like, you know, it's and he, it's like Harris was basically putting forth a guilt by association argument, which Murray shot down on it on its face. But he said he was like, you know, there's something about Stefan Molyneux when he starts getting into talking about race and IQ and all of that, where there's this sort of like fetishism for it, where like you see this twinkle in his eye that's just there, where he's like, I I don't know, like it's he's he's walking this line between like the 
alt-right and trying to just be like, well, I'm just a philosopher. I'm just, you know, whatever. And I don't know. There's a lot of things. Like, even, you know, I did a critique on his views on evolution and everything like that. I think it's... He, he tries to portray himself very objectively when he's not... Even his debate with Lauren Southern between capitalism and Marxism, Lauren isn't a Marxist, but she was selling me on it because Stefan was doing such a bad job defend <laughs> defending capitalism. And it's like... Oh, you just fancy her. It's, it was like, what is going on? How does this make any sense? This guy has, like, made his name on being, like, an anarcho-capitalist, libertarian, whatever, you know, non-aggression principle and the whole bit, and yet... She's making Marxism sound better than his sales pitch of the other. It's I I just I don't know. Sometimes I think he's he just doesn't doesn't know what he's looking at. What do you think's going to be the upcoming week? I mean, do you think? I mean, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen a copycat of Las Vegas. I really am. And then that's what I mean. It's all like engineered. I think they want copycats, and that's why they, they do the news coverage the way they are. Yeah. The way I see the news coverage, it's like encouraging youngsters to go, hey, if you've got nothing to do with your life, why don't you become remembered forever? Become an anti hero. Well, look at all the, the look at all the people 50. celebrating. Look at the, the vice president yeah. of CBS who said, well, they must have listened to country music, so. Right, yeah. They don't deserve sympathy. Must have been Trump supporters, yeah. I mean, it's it's awful that you have, you know, that's what really pushed me over the edge yeah, to be like, a million I'm... Way. It's not a million miles away from that Scalia shooting. Was it Scalia's shooting? Yeah, yeah. Where that guy went into the baseball game and just shot up the, the trenches. Yeah. I mean, and the it's... Same reaction. Well, well, and again, if, that, if he had pulled that off, it, like the whole of Congress would have been fucked. They would have had to have appointed, what, how many Republicans? Yeah. I mean, you even had that this one that one girl who is it, Lauren Durham, Lauren. She's she's been on Tucker Carlson and debates him. I forget what she writes for, maybe Teen Vogue or something. But she had some posts going around being like, you know, Trump just made it so employers don't have to provide birth control. This is a you know <laughs> a fight against all women. This is war, and it's like, are you fucking kidding? Like you gotta buy condoms for yourself now, like. And that's, you're ready to go to war? Like, but these people, that's why they're celebrating their political opponents dying. I mean, like, yeah, not even, like, gonna... a leader, but, like, the people you're celebrating dying. Like, there, there's such a devaluation of human life on the liberal side of things that's what really pushed me over to being like i want nothing to do with leftism or anything like that like sometimes i'll tell people i'm a conservative conservating lib conserving liberal principles which is what it is but anyone who identifies as a liberal a leftist a social justice well like it's a death cult it's all it is the earth's warming we should all die babies aren't babies let's kill them uh republicans are getting shot yes uh old people well, are yeah, racist they need the to dying. just die yeah. out like it's all it's all i mean we're, we're, you ain't going for the environment you had fucking prince charles come out praising somalian pirates for keeping the fishing numbers down yeah, it's. Did you see? That? I mean, that is like would rather have small pirates killing humans than you guys like fishing. <laughs> it just shows the level of psychopath like Prince Charles is, and these people that are pushing the climate agenda—they're absolutely insane. Well, and the other thing that is insane too, you know, I was listening to Ted Nugent talk to Alex Jones, and he brought up the point that you know. We have an ecosystem, even, because, you know, you even have, like, animal rights and all the tied into the environmentalist movement where they think, you know, hunting is immoral and everything like that. And it's like, okay, but when you have these pop, like in my local area, for example, we had one of the top liberal arts colleges going on this whole bit about how it's so awful to hunt the deer and everything like that. So they banned hunting in certain areas. Well, then car crashes started going up through the fucking roofs because there were deer everywhere. Yeah, I heard, yeah, and if you hit a deer, you can, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah, I heard the death numbers were really high. 
So they ended up yeah. saying, oh, wait, we should let these hunters do their things. And they even brought in certain hunters who, you know, if they aren't using part of the animal, they donate it to a soup kitchen that will use it and everything like that, making sure everything gets used. But it's like, there's a reason why we do hunt. There's a reason for these things. Like, we're part of the environment. We're part of this cycle. We're not sitting above it, looking down on it, which is the stance I feel like a lot of environmentalists, animal rights activists, and vegans think we have, that we can remove ourselves from the cycles and then just sort of tinker with them and try to change it to what best feels right to us. It's ridiculous. There's a good meme going around as well, which is like, if Trump is literally Hitler, why the fuck would you give him your guns? Yeah. Yeah, that's the other other big point. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, surely if Trump is Hitler, you'd want to be keeping your guns right now, wouldn't you? If it's so dangerous and, you know, dictator's fascist. Yeah. So you want a fascist and you want to hand your guns in it? You'd time. think, but I, mean, I, I, do, I, I almost... I mean, it's like you said, it's the neon demon. How can you create that level of mind control? Well, I think it's like compartmentalization. And it's also the people asking for the guns to be taken don't have them in the first place. So I think that's the other, you know, it's like... You're not going to think much of saying people shouldn't have that if you don't even have it yourself and know nothing of it. I think they're making that claim and and no part in their head are they thinking, well, who's going to end up with all the guns? Like, I even had someone on my timeline go, we're not talking about taking guns. We're talking about high-tech guns with fingerprint, GPS, whatever, whatever. And I've seen all that. That stuff's cool. Guns that only fire with certain fingerprints and stuff. Whatever. But I still said, I said... So you're not going to take everyone's guns. You're just going to update them and everyone's rifles they have now are going to what? Like you no, you're going to have to take the guns. Like you there's no way around it. Like there's too many of them here for you to try to say we can enact it without rounding them up. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, do you think that was the October surprise, was the shooting, or do you think there's worse to come this month? Do you think it, Alex is right that this is going to just build up and build up up until the sort of 4th of November, where it's just going to be absolute anarchy? I, th I, like I, the purge. I hate to say this, and I really hope I'm wrong, but something is telling me, like Trump, like Trump's tweet, basically. This is the calm, the be calm before, before the storm. storm. Yeah. This isn't even the storm. This is the this is the starting line this it's it's shitty to say that but it's this is the starting line even like i said about youtube they're demonetizing people who are, are, are liberals who are just trying to get money for charities like this is you know, the, the culture war is hot now that's what that's the only feeling i have i feel like before it's been a like a cold war on the culture war front and it just turned hot like, it is now because they're using the Vegas thing as an excuse to enact these new algorithms and everything like that. It's all sort of interlinked. This Vegas thing is a Pandora's box, and it's not even a Pandora's box as far as what happened and what it was. It's a Pandora's box as far as what's come out of it and what's going to continue coming out of it. Have you seen the links that some of his private planes were linked to a bomb? I've not had a chance to check that out yet. Yeah. What are they saying there? I haven't seen the details of it. Let me. I can bring it up on the other computer. But no, I, I, I know it's, it you know... I haven't had a chance to check that yet. He, he's tied into all sorts of... Lockheed Martin. Yeah. He's been traveling to... Yeah, it just looks like... Yeah. And I, I, all these cameras look like those cameras are there because it's a sting. It's like... And also that that could given the, the shooter a good chance to know when the police are coming and that he got out. And then the other guy could have looked and gone, oh shit, I can't get out. Why did he stop shooting for? Did he run out of ammo or something? Like, why did he stop? I don't know. Maybe that's when he was escaping. Or he had to set up the fucking scene. <laughs> I can check him a while. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, looking closely, the first thing you notice about the shooter was Paddock had a pilot license and owned two planes. Well-established fact. They give the models. Only um, two planes. Only. You can see that Paddock's... have one. 
Paddock. It was grounded three years and now is in the hands of none other than Violent LLC, Volant LLC, which there's little information on. Okay, so he had two planes, but if you look it up, the one he doesn't own anymore. The group that does own it is none other than Department of Defense is a Department of Defense contractor, meaning Paddock's plane has been in the hands of the United States government for the past three years and grounded since. If Volant LLC is being used to hide information, consider what Volant Associate does. That d that wouldn't be so far-fetched, but the plane's information is all easily verified on a flight aware. It's been in Roanoke, Virginia since April 25th, 2014. Uh, Volant's described mission on the website is providing the industry's preeminent professionals to describe discriminating U.S. government and intelligence and defense industry customers, whatever that means. Uh, the registration on the plane is active, but it hasn't been flown. St strange enough, the FAA should have this the same. They don't have their website shows different craft. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's little to be known about Volant LLC, a company big it, enough it, to have a plane. Amazing. Listen to this. A, a company big enough to have a plane should have a website. At least that would be an assumption. But a Google search netted very little information other than they provide business services, quote unquote. But Volant Associates is a completely different matter. That's your defense contractor. And their website says they're located in Chantilly, Virginia, which wouldn't be too far from Volant LLC in Roanoke. And a quick Google search of that verifies that the the two cities are only 290 miles apart. So is Volant LLC a cover company for the defense contractor? Is this a coincidence? Check this out. Like, this could just be bullshit. You have to tell me. But I saw this on my face. I can't believe I'm repeating this. But there's a meme where if you link, if you put a dot on all the latest mass shootings in America and then join the dots up like you meant to, like join the dots, that's a perfect Star of David. Let me try to see if I can find this. And I couldn't understand what Tommy Robinson was posting, but he was posting something about a direct line to uh, some Mecca worship place that is directly on the line. Is that bullshit that these shootings actually draw a fucking Star of David? I don't know. Uh, Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Do you want me to try and find it? Yeah, if you can. You need to be a Jew hater and type in Jew instead of Star David. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you're probably right, though, just if I type in mass shooting <laughs> yeah. Jew Zionism, I'm sure it will come up. <laughs> it's the Jews. The thing is, I saw the Jews protesting against Rockefeller and Rothschilds all the fucking time. Yeah. And they fucking hate them. I can't believe I'm defending him, Jamie. I mean, I'll tell you, it's it would be crazy if it was, but I... It is, mate. <laughs> I mean, it's... Well, what you do is you go to Tools this week. Huh? Search, search uploaded in the last week. Oh, yeah. It's not worked. Let's try. I guess I'm not. I'm not up on the anti-Semitism. Yeah, oh, probably won't get demonetized for that, would we? Oh, I, I don't even. I don't even think we'll ever be monetized again, <laughs> at this rate. Yeah. But well, I mean, it's just. You know, the thing is, is I just. My mind is blown just thinking of all the news that they can sweep under the rug because of this Vegas stuff and just not have to talk about other things, you know? Maybe they're dumb and I don't know it's called Star of David, Star Mass Shootings. Ah, uh, it's such a shame. I thought that would have come straight up as well on my face, but no, that's it. But yeah, alright, let's, well anyway, let's, let's get on to a different topic. Um, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. What do you, what are, we, what are your thoughts on that? Well, honestly? Yeah. I don't have a fucking clue, because I never fucking heard of the guy. But someone I do know, who knows him really well, said that 
Um, it's bullshit, and it's probably being set up. And he does act inappropriately, and he does come on hard to girls, but he's definitely not a rapist. But I don't know shit. I don't know anything. Is the honest answer. Well, I, you know, I think it could be a mix of, you know, sometimes guys will go farther with others. Like, even Ashley Judd was like, you know, he's come on to me pretty hard. I've had to put him in his place, you know, this, this, and that, and just whatever. But I don't know. I, you know, my assumption is Hollywood bigwigs, the casting couch is a very real thing. And it's funny how lower level actresses like Rose McGowan and stuff like the B-list and D-list actresses, they're speaking out and all the top ones that have really gotten their, their spotlights from this guy, they're all being very silent. They're not even coming out and defending him, which I think is quite telling. Even Jimmy Kimmel, Donald Trump Jr. pressed Jimmy Kimmel on it, and Jimmy Kimmel tried deflecting uh, by saying what Trump calls the New York Times, and he's like, oh, you mean the failing one-sided New York Times? You want me to believe them now? And it's like, oh, okay, Jimmy. What do you reckon's going on? I think it's, you know, Hollywood casting couch nonsense. Like, you know, like, the, yeah. I think it's the timing is probably political or not political but you know there's probably motives behind the timing of it like bill cosby for example bill cosby was doing this shit for years right. and, and it wasn't until he wanted to buy out nbc that all of that started coming out so i think it's you know there's a there's a reason why it's happening now but i definitely think there's something to it um the other thing you had is you had one of the stars of the show glee get arrested for having hard drives filled with uh pictures of naked children and stuff bunch of pedophile stuff well what we're getting in the uk is um they've reopened the heath case and heath was our prime minister and he was a kiddie fucker you know in these satanic parties mm -hmm. and everyone's like jumping up and down like going yay our police are finally dealing with the vip pedophiles it's like he's dead yeah it's irrelevant. It's a distraction. Man. It's a total distraction. Why aren't we looking at people that are at least alive? Yeah. Why are we even waste? I'm oh, sorry to the victims, but uh, we need to prioritize. And if he's dead, let's move on to the next pedophile to catch. Yeah. Well, you know what else? That's that sort of reminds it me just, of. And it also, you've got Theresa May had this weird thing where she might be standing down. And someone just happened to hand her a P45, and you think that's a crisis actor, because it fits the narrative perfectly. And I wonder if her links to this pedophile inquiry are going to shatter her, and she's stepping down early. Because it's because of her it collapsed. What is this? Now, she's got quite a lot of links to this pedophile inquiry, because she was having lunch at... Leon Britton's house every day. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was, she was supposed to be investigating him. May? May That's was... why I got shut hmm. down. Theresa May, yeah. She hmm. looks evil. Yeah. I heard from a mole, I don't know if it's accurate, but shit's going to get crazy tomorrow in Catalonia. Oh, really? Where yeah, are they still having more? they flights and stuff like that and just fucking with them, shutting off banks shutting off supplies, all that kind of jazz. Wow. Uh, in Canada, since they've legalized euthanasia, they've had 2,000 dead people. Isn't that one? That's ridiculous. I, I heard a... Uh, your granny there. I heard a... Uh, that's what I was thinking. Why don't, why don't we start Conspiracy Clown? I heard a... Uh, conspiracy Clown. Can I be Conspiracy <laughs> Clown? Okay. The world's gonna end on the 21st September! Sam Conspiracy Clown! It says it's in the Bible! And then when, when that goes, I'll go, it's actually gonna be the next weekend, September 30th! The world's gonna end! Everyone's a crisis actor! No one died, the government loves you! We did Conspiracy Clown. We, we should. It'd be, it'd be great. Um... You know what else I was going to say as far as stuff going on at culture war stuff I think is very important. I posted about this earlier. 
Columbus Day is upon us, and you have the myth of the noble savage being put forth in full effect, where I, even in my local area, they're like, should we take down the Columbus statue? We should celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. And I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. If you want to give people a day on the calendar, do whatever the fuck you want. We have days for everything else. National Hot Dog Day, National Whatever Day. But you don't need to be replacing one part of history with another. And the whole excuse is like, oh, well, Columbus had a checkered past. And it's like, okay, but these Native American tribes we're celebrating, they all went to war with one another. They're the ones that started scalping the art of removing the top of someone's head. Like, what, what, the fact that we're saying, well, this guy was evil, but these guys are, they're all right. We can set, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm sick of this overthrowing of the culture. Uh, more good news in Europe. Uh, yesterday, a German citizen of Syrian heritage arrested with suspected Mother of Satan explosive at Swedish airport. So he what? Shut down the whole airport. Yeah, he must have had quite a big bomb. <laughs> you know, it's it, it used to be that you have oh man german national arrested for trying to care mother of satan explosive what the hell who's doing yeah. i want to know who's doing this branding though but uh besides that <laughs> yeah. i mean you can't call it the, the bomb of either can you i guess not um it's it's just it's amazing how years ago these things were sort of spread out and now it just seems to be like I mean, it's like we don't know which one to talk about and spend the right. most amount of time on because UK. it's... Why am I laughing at this? Uh, in the UK, I love Islamic State. Man guilty of showing beheaded video to child. And this is a pharmacist who made children write I, lo he, I love Islamic State, made him watch a beheaded videos. Oh my god. Yeah. And then, another highlight was Miley Cyrus. Uh, writing a love letter to Clinton and then had him hugging. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, oh uh, man, uh, listen to I... this. Ex-deputy education minister of Ontario jailed for child porn charges out on parole. Levin designed the disgusting new sex ed curriculum in Ontario. And, you know, this is something you see where it's like, it doesn't matter if it started with the sexual revolution in Kinsey or the people who are writing these curriculums now. They're all a bunch of perverts. It's not there to educate your children. It's to groom and sexualize them. Yeah, and what about, um, wasn't that guy from Glee busted? Yeah, yeah, I was saying that uh, a few minutes ago when I mentioned Weinstein. Yeah, the, uh... That he was busted with hard drives full of kitty porn and stuff, yeah. I'm sure that's gonna... I'm sure that's... Once they get his hard drives, that might spread in and amongst itself into other Hollywood people, because I bet they share amongst themselves. I just don't know what's real anymore. That's that, why I'm so depressed. That's, I don't know what's real anymore. That's why I feel like I'm sort of done with the, the Vegas thing. I don't even... It's. I'd rather look at what's coming out of it yeah, than it itself. Yeah, that's what I've got to now. Is anything that's coming out now, it's like... No offense to Paul Jace Watson, he's going, Look, the FBI have said this through the BBC. It's like, why are you giving that any fucking... Yo! Thing? It's come Yo! from the fucking BBC and it's come from the FBI. You know, that's... Why the that, fuck are you even quoting? You're, talking, what, you're talking about his interview with Crowder, right? Or, or is this a thing he said on his own? My, yeah, it's been a few examples, but yeah, I saw the I, Yeah, I noticed that. Paul Joseph Watson coming out and being like, oh, well, you know, the FBI said there was only one gunman, so that's been debunked. And oh, this... And I'm like, Paul, where, yeah. where's your standard? Yeah. What what happened? Yeah. What happened to you? Like, yeah, you're you're just saying, oh well, the authorities say this, so now we're with the official narrative. Like, yeah. what is happening here? Like, I just I don't even yeah, I doubt I've all of it. About Alex Jones, I'm his biggest fan, but over the last Vegas shooting, he has been putting his own narrative through it quite heavily. See, but his narrative seems to be a lot more important than. 
yeah, and I, then you get people like Steve Pachanik saying, "Well, they're all nothing happened." Well, you know, I I go nothing with. Happened. I heard uh, Mike Cernovich talk about this, and Mike Cernovich said is, and he said this to Alex Jones. He said, "Alex, listen, I understand what you're doing. You've had the president on your show. You're not a small fry anymore. You can't you can't afford to be sitting here." speculating about different conspiracies because look at how they handle you over sandy hook he said so i understand what you're doing and where you're placing your focus on certain things and everything like that and i mean mike cernovich is very good at rationalizing things that maybe we shouldn't be rationalizing but i i understand you know again there's legalities in in certain things and you can't just be saying whatever you want but I, I'm looking at Infowars kind of funny right now and just being like, you guys are, are picking and choosing a little too much on when we should trust certain institutions and when we shouldn't. Like, And I understand there's good and bad in all institutions, but still, something's not adding up here. And like you said, people are more concerned with their narratives than the actual truth. Yeah, I'm just scrolling, trolling, see if there's anything else that I fucking missed. Yeah, after that, I just want to get, I know you're bored of it, but I'm enthralled by the Las Vegas shooting. I don't think I'm going to get away from it. I don't think we're ever going to get to the bottom of it. But I'm convinced the best story is that this is, I think we can definitely say it's a gun sting. He definitely works for the FBI. And I reckon they dumped his body in there at the end. Yeah. Or a lookalike's body or something like that, you know. Yeah, well, I don't think that tattoo is a 13. That could just be his skin, you know. Maybe. You go close. If you start, yeah, put it up. That ain't a tattoo. I don't think it is. And that's the other thing. When you see all these things, it's really hard to check it out yourself. Like, have you seen the video where people go in that cop shooting from the crowd? No. And it's like, it, it looks like it's just holding a flashlight. Yeah, that 13, 13 tattoo, I'm not sure if it is a tattoo or if it's just what he's so fucking overweight. Is that a tattoo or is he just overweight? I don't know. It looks kind of like a really, really old tattoo in some of the pictures. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think that's his neck. I think that's his Adam's apple. And it's just a funny angle. That isn't a tattoo. That's his Adam's apple. You see what I mean? Look at it cross-eyed and it kind of like, oh, yeah. That's not a tattoo. I could be wrong. I'm not, I, well, I'm saying I'm not convinced it could be a tattoo. But at the same time, there's a good chance it fucking isn't. No, no, let me double check some pictures. You wouldn't get a tattoo away if you're fucking Adam's apple. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> but, I don't know, in the one picture, it, it really does look like it's a 13 drone on there. I'm trying to find other pictures to compare it to. That picture is kind of, eh. I yeah. think that's just fat. Or, you know, maybe it's just, again, it could just be fucking photoshopped on there by the fucking deep state just to get people. Because you do get those lines. If you do that kind of head position, you do end up with those, that free kind of crumple in your skin. Just do it yourself. Just have a look at your own. You do get those shapes. I don't know. It might be. I'm not convinced enough to say that's a tattoo. Could be anything. Yeah. It could just be natural. Because photos do it sometimes. Especially when you're looking for something that's not there. Well, and in, it, in and other pictures... Well, he, here's the more. thing, too, is we have... I think you might be right. We do have... Or, or it might have been there and he's been getting it removed. So that's almost what I'm... No, I'm 85% confused. Because you have... Here's, here's the thing. It's it, a bad is, angle. It's, 
you have the picture of him where it looks to be very visible and that's a picture of him being older now if it was a tattoo it's very faded and is a very old tattoo but you have younger pictures of him where it's not theirs so based on that i'd say it's not it's not a tattoo because it just... it's not no chronologically no, it, it wouldn't make sense but again i don't put it past i think it's just an unlucky photo and then again, you know that of all this disinformation, if you did have that, how come you don't know the press just didn't Photoshop it just a little bit? Well, that's that's what I was that's what I was and gonna say. Again, is that's my guess. It, and what's it do? It worked like a tree. Well, and it's a number play. thirteen too. Yeah, it's not it's, like it's some yeah, inconspicuous yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah. I think it's it's there to get people going. Because again, of all yeah. things, the number it's thirteen. All in the Bible. <laughs> the Bible predicted the man with the thirteen and the M fifteen. Did you see the sense <coughs> of the face shoot? No. Ah, oh, John, Jamie, pull that up. What was it? The Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah, Ned Flanders pulls off the Las Vegas. Why am I laughing? Las Vegas shoot. Well, I haven't seen the episode yet. Predicted Las Vegas shooting. Let's watch it together. See if they did. Ned Flanders. Ned Flanders did it. That's like that real shooting at the school where he got in the tower. Uh, apparently he wasn't, they were allowed to uh, from computer things by that. <laughs> but that one with Donald Trump is fuck scary. Simpsons predict Trump is really scary. It's one of the most scariest things I've ever seen in my life. What was that? Uh, when the Simpsons predicted the Trump. Oh yeah, going down the, that the is things. That so scary, yeah. So what do you reckon? Is it going to ramp up then? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be, or is it like Trump said it has been a bit calm? Well, it hasn't. It hasn't. The media has been, you know, it's almost like starting a fire. You know, Charlottesville was the kindling. Speaking of which, there were people there again last night. I think that's a definitely controlled actors because they're all showing up in the same outfit, and that's you know, takes organization and sort of dedication too. Um, like you're getting a paycheck dedication. Um, but, you know, no one would have known these assholes showed back up at Charlottesville had the media not reported on it. But, you know, the media has an invested interest in dividing people. Well, I think it's going to ramp up over here in England first. Yeah, well, I think it has been over there. It's, now you guys are just daily having acid attacks yeah. and cars crashing into shit and I mean no I wouldn't about it. now now you know what the other thing is I had a friend of mine who I was talking to about the Vegas thing and he was like oh yeah I think it's a whole bunch of spooks and everything like that but he brought it to this point where he said you know what part of it is is he said when they're doing these, he said, it's selling the fear agenda. You know, you have yeah. most people live quiet lives in the house, you know, aren't going out and everything like that. And you're attacking the people that are still going out and being social and interacting and going to concerts and everything like that, where it's almost supposed to just call everyone into their houses and make them all isolate and everything like that. Where it's like, you know, the unity of everyone coming together afterwards and posting online hashtag pray for Vegas is not the same sort of unity as a whole crowd of people singing together at a concert. Yeah, and then just play everyone like a fiddle, releasing weird information and more information that contradicts the information you just released. Yep. Then contradict that. So when someone uses that information for their narrative, it gets contradicted minutes later then their enemy used that and just everyone starts bickering even i'm guilty of doing it well yeah and you know what the other thing too is sometimes when people talk about it again the fact that these things get compartmentalized in people's heads 
you know, when you see Alex Jones and all of them talk about the ISIS radicalization and everything like that, okay, well, who runs ISIS? The CIA and the deep state. Yeah, yeah. Why do we even say ISIS radicalization? Well, no, we should just say CIA. Yeah. It is a bit of both. You do have real ISIS, and then you have parts of it controlled. Like, it's just a nest of fins. They don't fully control. I think ISIS is a real fin, and then it's used as a false flag just to blame ISIS. They recruit them, and then they recruit real ISIS fighters too. Well, it's like I think it's a total, it's a total fucking. Mess. It's like how we were saying the CIA and the feds run the white supremacist groups and everything like that. Like they'll get get guys, yeah. someone to infiltrate, then eventually they rise up and they become the leader, and then it's the person running. It's a fed, and everyone else is just useful idiots. That's that's how I I think it is. But the you know, in order for it to really gain traction. Yeah, I think that's when it becomes like an op, like the government is manipulating it from the shadows. Blade Runner struggles in the cinema. I saw that. I I, I love seeing that. Uh, Ho Hollywood collapsing. <laughs> it's it's all coming down. Why don't you like Jews? <laughs> I that it, it that wasn't my 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 direction on that. Yeah. I I'm telling you more about pompous lecturing degenerative you know that's what a jew hater would say i guess i mean you know the, <laughs> the you know the thing that i don't like about it that you know a lot of people would say is and and the same thing is they did say during nazi germany like they took over the entertainment industry and filled it with everything they object to and that's at what people's problem at the end of the day with certain jews is is they have a set of rules for themselves and then a way of looking at everyone else and they will d encourage the others to act in manners that they wish they never would because they think it gives them an advantage. Apparently the Las Vegas shooter, they're saying that no, was just maths equations to figure out oh. where he could shoot and where he couldn't shoot. And they're trying to say he was able to figure all that out with no military training okay yeah yeah i mean i guess a simple google search could suffice but i i don't know if i'm buying that no i'm not really buying that it's all just like i said from here on out all you're going to get is nonsense yeah we're fucking never gonna get anything out of this and apparently Trump might be releasing some JFK files, I hear. That's my favorite subject of all time. We should do a JFK special. That's what woke me up, Jamie. Really? Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. When I was 10 years old, I got into JFK. I was like, I didn't really understand it, but I knew something was up. Yeah. You know, the thing that... Um... Like, wow, the government killed their own president. That's so gangster. The thing that I think people should keep in mind with these... Uh you know, false flag things and everything like that, as far as discerning what info could be slightly valid and what could be invalid completely, is, again, problem, reaction, solution. They know the solution they want, so they're going to script the narrative so that it ends up at that point. Where, like, again, writing in this ISIS angle and everything like that could just be for the sake of bringing in the feds, making it, you know, so that it isn't just something handled by Las Vegas police and everything well, like that. one thing I'm sure of is that guy didn't do the shooting. And the reason I say that is they would have just bombarded us with CCTV footage, video footage, going, look at him bringing his guns. They would have just made it undeniable, like, over the yeah. top. This was the man, this was the man. Look at him here, look at him here. Look at him carrying these cases. And we haven't had anything. Well, and here's and the that, thing. And that is the big seller for me, that he was just dumped there. Because they can't go, look at the CCTV of someone rolling in a dead body on ice. And do Because he's you... not moving, and they throw him on the floor. And do we and really think... Him. Oh, I found it, you fucking so lucky. You are so lucky, Jamie. What? Jamie, it's your birthday. The Star of David meme? Um, oh, it's your birthday. <coughs> I was going to say, though, you know, we're, we have it where... <laughs> We're going to your messenger. We're admitting. What are we said. What are we saying, Jamie? On this, this is this is. I've got the documents right here, Jamie. The conspiracy's right there in your messenger. 
what is going on? Well, I was I was gonna say, oh yeah, look at that. Um, I was gonna say, you know, we're we're again talking about the idea of whether or not they might have used actors to bring this in, the false flag, the scripting, and everything like that. Do you not think? Like, again, there's such intention in these things and everything where it's like they intentionally have it where they're not giving us footage. Because, again, it wouldn't be much for them to just sh sh put up a clip, Maybe we put up a clip. IDM, and... That IDM film review and see if the shoot was in any gay films or any comedies or any, any <laughs> documentaries. Like, the police. <coughs> see if it's had any other acting. Like. Or, like, the <coughs> comet. Comet ping pong guy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over being sick. I've been all congested. <clears throat> I'm just getting over it now, really. Last six months on the U.S. soil. Wow. Is that bullshit? It's a bit weird. <laughs> Should we read all the comments? Oklahoma, Idaho, New Mexico. Image down. Any more questions, Oive? Last six mass shootings. I don't know. I'd have to look into them. Do you know where any of them are? Hang on, where was Pulse? That was all the way on the other side of the country. <coughs> yeah, that was Florida. When was Pulse? Last year? Yeah. They fucked it then. 10, 16, 1, 1, 2, so on. They fucked that a little bit, surely. Yeah, I, th I think they're that. cherry picking. I think they're cherry picking. These dates are all over the place. You have the, you have the first one on there, Idaho, 1, 1, 2016. So it's... When was the Vegas shoot? It was around October last year, wasn't it? This time last year. W which one? The Orlando shooting was, what, November last year? I think something? so. Something around there. Yeah. So they've missed that off. What other ones did we have? Batman. Well, no, okay, no that's a while Batman. back. Um, uh, what, yeah. about, oh, what about the Islamic one? Where was that? San Bernardino? Yeah. Um, that was last year, wasn't it? Which one is six? Yeah, yeah. So San Bernardino isn't on there. No, that, like I said, I think they've definitely cherry-picked so that they can have this because because i mean between comment, between then. now let's ask him let's ask him what happened and the first let's of last then. year like it's you would have had florida on there and it's yeah it just i don't know it's people was it san bernardino how do you spell bernardino stan it's bernardino b-e-r-n -E you've got some crazy names out there that's a hispanic name i think well, we spelled it wrong, they know what I mean. What happened to... Do you think I'll get called a Jew? Maybe. <laughs> hey, he's a shill! You know I Yeah, if, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they have... What other shootings have you had? Let's have a look. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. Let's just have a look. Now, you know, here's, there is a post on, on this guy's thing. This should thing. become the official debunkers, James. Hold on, there is a post on this guy's thing, and this is something that crossed my mind, because I think they did this with Trayvon Martin, where they showed people old pictures of Trayvon Martin and uh, things like that, and then at the trial, well, can... at yeah. the trial, they brought out his quote-unquote older brother, who I think was Trayvon. There's a thing here where there, the people are speculating that the brother is actually Stephen Paddock. Um, that's been running in my head for ages. They look so fucking similar. Yeah. That it's actually just one person. And they're... Yeah, and they're both complete nut jobs. Telling you that he's dead and he's actually like... I mean, and again, think about it's that like then. like a cartoon character. Well, think about it again with him being up there and being like, oh, Stephen was an arm... Oh, I, 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 oh, no, yeah. I meant, I meant that Even colloquially. Gave him arms. An arms what? But it, I shouldn't say. Now, shouldn't and again, imagine if that actually is the guy, how good they are at, if, you know, they're, thr be they're the throwing people everyone. through those hoops and like, yeah, if that was the every, guy who actually did it, oh man. Every headline should have been in the newspapers, shoot his brother dribbles everywhere and says, it was just an arms, oh no, I shouldn't, I didn't mean to say arm, uh, and just leave that as the headline. Yeah. 
Because I here's here's one of the things I think we should we should keep in mind, and people can disagree with me on this, but the general uh, willfully ignorant populace they're going to be- believe whatever anyway, anyway. So they don't need to go to great lengths to to psyop them. So the majority of the effort for the psyops and disinfos it's going to be directed at the truth community. It's going to be to just keep people going fucking autistic yeah i mean right i'm a little bit distracted because i'm sending some little joke right back with it something joke yeah well i don't know if I, if I can take much more i might just disconnect the internet take take a little while off I don't know but not a long time, like forever. Yeah, you know, it, it's. I've... It's not gonna. It's not gonna be cra- Not like when I come back, it's not gonna be less crazy. Why come back? Well, you know what the other thing too is. It's it's like, I remember when nine eleven happened and living in New York, an hour away from the city, and feeling as if oh, shit, yeah. politics and the news was being forced upon me. Like, it was something that didn't even cross my radar. Like, I just, I was a teenager, I wasn't concerned. And then next thing I know, it was something I was being forced to be concerned about. And that's how I feel like all politics are nowadays with social media. Where all of it's forced on you all the time. Especially with the political correct nonsense and and everything like that. Like, sometimes I, I agree, I wish I was living somewhere where someone would go to me and say third gender and i'd be like huh what planet are you from like but it's uh, it's forced upon everyone now wow even people are running fucking running pictures of the brother against the pictures of steven paddock through facial recognition stuff and it's coming up 100 percent match yeah, but how accurate is that? Basically? Well, some of the oh, some of those are one. pretty off. Put me but... and you for it. Put me and you are a fucking match. I I did one of put them. I did one of them where I put in a picture of Chester Bennington and it came up with a thirty percent match to the exact same picture of Chester Bennington. So sometimes they are very wrong. No, because there's obviously claims. You've just uncovered a conspiracy. There are many clones running around of this. There. Are this Chester Bennington figure. Yep. I have the proof right here. Look at this face. It's completely different to this face. Wow, this one is a completely different match to this face. Conspiracy Clown has solved it. Yeah, we need Conspiracy Clown. Yeah. Just to like, should we do it like a... Yeah, I was thinking, should we do like a mock channel and just see what ridiculous... Just go complete ridiculousness with the Conspiracy and just see how many subscribers we actually get say Michael Jackson did the shooting and now it was his final <laughs> Las Vegas show something like that it was Conrad Murray <laughs> why not <coughs> might as well be it would be funny, because I bet you we could come up with something. We could, we could connect the dots. Oh, yeah, you could. And that's one of the I other problems. Because, because you dots. could, all you'd have to do is, you know, show, like, a, a numer- numerological connection. Or, like, you know, here's a pyramid, here's a pyramid. Therefore, the shooter was Conrad Murray. Like, you really could. Yeah, and some spooky music in the background. All you'd have to do is do everything I told everyone not to do in my disinfo psyop video just do it yeah, all I to the it, i was thinking that's what we should be doing to the top level we shouldn't be doing that i mean just exactly uh, get doing. it get it to be as fast and loose as possible <laughs> yeah be like we but... i don't know this it's just i mean some of the stuff like the missing video evidence there are some things that are just giant red not flags. even a screenshot not even a screenshot A mill for two. This other guy who left the door open. Left his phone charger there. The car seems to have been mixed about with some other people. 
Here's the other. And then he booked in the day before the FBI said he actually booked in. Here, here's one of the other things that kind of bother me about the way the narratives are being. We don't have a motive. We could, we just don't have anything at all, folks. Stay tuned, though. <laughs> One of the one of the things bothering me about the narratives lately is the idea that you have people that are gun running, but for like specific intentional purposes. Like, let me just throw this out there. If I was a gun runner, or even you know, if you see the Nick Cage movie Lord of War, where he talks about arming, you know, two two sides of of, of a fight. I don't think arms dealers are like, oh, yeah, yeah, you want to buy my guns? Oh, by the way, what's what's your religious and political affiliations? Are are you Muslim? Are you, oh, yeah, because I only sell guns to Muslims. I have a... Uh, uh, they do on the dark web, though. They did on Silk Road. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. If you ask for stuff, he would, like, uh, check you out first. And, like, they'd only... If you buy a gun on Silk Road, they'll only give you, like under five bullets uh-huh they say you only really need five bullets for self-defense well I, i'm just saying like in general like yeah i know what you mean gun I smugglers and and drug dealers and you know black yeah, market people they don't tend to discriminate on who their their clientele is i reckon they do because i think all gun runners the only way you'd do that is if you were covered and the only way you could be covered is by being an fbi informant You'd have to be an FBI informant to pull out. No one would be that brave. You'd get one or two crazies, but they've all got to be doing some kind of deal. And the surveillance is worth so much. And that's what all those cameras are in that room. Yeah. The FBI cameras surveilling the place. But it, but and I. To figure out how long it's got to get out of there. And then. Yeah, you can see the police coming up. It's like, okay, shoot that guy in the head, dump his body, take a couple, little stroll outside. <whistles> Turn, nothing happened, and yeah. Oh, look, the body's just here. There's no suicide note. Because Stefan Molyneux was saying that the fact he didn't leave, a, he didn't have any motive or won't reveal his motive is proof that he did it because he's a psychotic and he wants to keep people guessing. That was Molyneux's, like, full conclusion. Oh, my God. Yeah, it came back to me in a stoned flashback. That's the problem with people thinking they need to reach conclusions. Especially if they're due to mental health, which is his, like, uh, expertise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he blamed women for it as well, because... (laughs) No, this is actually kind of true, though, in a way. That the first woman obviously stuck with the FBI uh, dad, uh, that his dad, that he was on the run, uh-huh. even though he was dangerous. And then the other women seem to flood this dangerous guy just for resources, just because he's got money. They don't care about the psychotic behavior. I don't know if that's true or not. So it just, it was definitely sort of selling his own channel a bit. The truth behind yeah. the Vegas shooting. I know, that's, I mean, I just, I feel like there's, like, pretentiousness permeating his yeah, titles. Yeah, why don't we do that? The truth behind the world order. Yeah, we got it. I just want, we'll, ours will be the one and only truth. Yeah. Like, just just to let you know, anyone now, else. Now, we just be honest, Paul's going to get it completely wrong about Vegas. Just, we'll have the one and only truth and then conspiracy cl- The one and only truth presented yeah. by conspiracy clown. Conspiracy clown. Yeah. And the world's gonna end, I tell you. It's not the 21st September anymore. I mean, I think, September. I think. In 40 days time, North Korea. Didn't Comedy the Central. The said that North Korea's gonna blow up Trump. I think in the Bible, folks. I think Comedy I Central know. has a uh, a new show called The Resistance that's basically conspiracy clown. I don't know if it's still going on. I know there was like an episode and everyone was like, "Oh yeah, it's definitely worse than expected." <laughs> yep. I, I'm done for, I think. Yeah. I, I need to fix it's, my kitchen. It's, it's funny out. here. I'm gonna. I'm just going to end with this comment a friend put on my, my thing. Because I posted about the uh, people wanting to sanitize history, the Columbus Day thing and the uh, Native American things. And I just said, you know, 
Uh, however, since racism is oh so progressive, we give brown people a pass on brutality in an effort to pay penance for our white guilt. While I'm talking about the race aspect of this, how disrespectful is it to homogenize all the Native American tribes that went to war with one another into a group just for the sake of maintaining this brown versus white narrative? This coming from the same people that talk about invalidating identities. And a friend of mine summed it up and said something that could be said about all this social justice shit and everything. And it says, I finally figured it out, man. It gives all these people with an empty soul who feel abandoned and lonely a purpose or meaning in life and allows them to feel alive again because they believe what they are doing is contributing to a greater cause. It's basically therapy for the mental disorder liberalism that's been going around that makes people miserable and unhappy. And he's completely right because the liberal worldview is one of doom and gloom and then you join into one of these victim groups to try to fight the power and you can't even realize you're the status quo fighting to oppress people. One thing I wanted to ask you just before we go, you know the Alex Jones and Las Vegas coverage? Uh-huh. The one thing is, is you obviously heard Alex Jones going like, I've got like uh, Trump insiders, Trump's you know, advisors telling yeah. me they've seen the ISIS video. They've seen it. The, the, the one guy, yeah, I forget his name, Brody or Jason. I, I was looking at his Twitter the yeah. other day. Yeah, I know who you're talking Is about. That, Alex Jones wouldn't lie about that, though, would he? I don't think he would. I mean, I don't... Alex Jones doesn't lie. If he says that he's got the best sources you can have, <coughs> most of the sources telling me that there is an ISIS video... I mean, I don't, I don't know if he was saying that that if other guy is claiming he has it. And remember, you saw that Putin facial recognition video. Yeah. Where you manipulate Putin in real time with yep. your own face. Yeah. So, like, how good is this ISIS video going to be anyway? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the yeah, things I, I, mean. I try What's to keep in mind with. Days? Yeah, what is real? These you can't days? tell. Because these videos we see, any like. It, Fidget well, and the other thing, so too, is, let me, let me, the other thing, too, that's bothering me about all this, that they even said in the same thing was that he was broadcasting it internationally on some live yeah. streaming thing, and it's like, and what, the internet hasn't found it? Like... Yeah, the internet isn't international, it's the, the internet. What do you mean, he brought, you brought, you... Yeah, yeah, right. You're you're completely right. It's you. Yeah, you. It, the you internet's go, the you internet. Can watch it in for was it Japanese viewers only. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what. Like even that part of it is very odd to me. Where it's like, or unless if it's a somewhat you know secret encrypted private FBI live stream or something. Maybe that's you know. I don't know what sort of tech they have for themselves, but this whole he was broadcasting it to the world, but no one has seen the broadcast bit, that's, that rubs me really wrong. Is that what we're going to call the podcast? Is anything real anymore? Sure. Is anything real anymore? I don't know. Honestly, I just don't know anymore. I, I don't know. I, I, I have doubts about all of it. But like I said, the things that we, sh we don't have to doubt are the plans they are trying to make out of this. That's why I say I think that 4chan thing is the absolute gold dust. Yeah. It's, maybe the key thing should be working out what these free black fans are. That too, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. All right, well, let's wrap things up. Let's so start getting this thing uploaded. Yeah, I was surprised we got shit. Like I had nothing today. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a handful of things. I knew we start out on Vegas and then just get into all the stuff that Ve I'm not gonna be able to Vegas is overshadowing. Right. That's that's the other. Th that's another thing that is happening out of this, where Vegas is going to overshadow other issues that certain people don't want being talked about. You've had a. Uh, you know, weird alternative doc medicine doctors dying in shady circumstances, and I think uh, big pharma lobbying for a lot of stuff. And you know, there's weird things going on that are not making headlines because of 
What's going well, yeah, on? Yeah, Ding um, wasn't a good distraction. That Hillary had a lot of her emails put out, didn't she? Yeah. So that was a great distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who knows? All right. Well, until next week. Hopefully, we'll yeah. we'll have some. That's the next thing. Is it real? Is anything real? Yeah. All right, man. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right, catch you later, man. All right. Take care. All right, see you later.